Hello, this is Rachmi Kantiwari. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the adaptive filtering. Adaptive filtering is one of the most fundamental, essential part of the digital signal processing. There are four major types of adaptive filter configuration: adaptive system identification, adaptive noise cancellation, adaptive linear predictions, and the adaptive inverse systems. All of the above systems are similar in the implementation of the algorithm. but different in a system configuration and all these four systems have the same general parts there will be an input there will be an another desired results and an output and an adaptive transfer function wn and an error signal en which is the difference between the desired output un and the actual output yn In addition of these parts the system identification and the inverse system configuration have the unknown linear system transfer function un that can receive an input and give a linear output to the given input so here in this tutorial we will just only discuss adaptive system identification configuration and in the next tutorial we will discuss some other configuration So this adaptive system identification is primarily responsible for determining the transfer function of unknown system and the same input xn is applied to the unknown system and the adaptive filter configuration and the unknown system from which the outputs are compared with the output from the adaptive configuration and the resultant difference will produce an error and this error will manipulate the adaptive weight of this configuration after a number of iteration of this process are performed and if system is designed correctly the adaptive filter transfer function will converge to or almost near to unknown system transfer function and for this configuration the error signal does not have to go to zero although convergence to zero is the ideal situation but in real practical situation it doesn't happen there will be a difference between adaptive filter transfer function and unknown transfer function but those error will be very small and additionally the order of adaptive system will affect the smallest error that the system can obtain if there are insufficient coefficient in the adaptive system to model the unknown system it is set to the under specified and this condition may cause the error to converge to a non zero constant instead of zero if the adaptive filter is over specified meaning that there are more coefficient than needed to model the unknown system so the error will converge to zero but it will increase time to take it converge so this is all about the theory of adaptive system configuration now let's start to implement adaptive filter algorithms so here we are going to create a signal of sinusoidal using some noise we will add a random noise in signal and then we will perform a filtering where we will implement a digital fir filter and then we will get a desired output but the trick is here for time being means the for system analysis here we know the transfer function of a digital filter but in real and a practical situation we may not know the filter coefficients so for experiment purpose we will test whether these adaptive filters can attain this filter coefficient or not so let's first generate a sinusoidal signal and implement a filtering and then perform a adaptive filtering to get a this filter coefficient in adaptive filters so we have to first define a sampling rate of signal fs let's take 1000 that means 1 kilohertz and ts will be 1 divided by of course fs and let's take the order of the filter is equal to the 12 and time array for 1 second 0 with the time step ts to 1 minus ts and x is equal to sin 2 pi and we can take a 4 hertz frequency into t and let's create a random noise noise is equal to random and the size of this random noise will match with the size of signal x okay now x is equal to the x plus noise 
now perform the normalization of this signal so x equal to x divided by max of x now x has been normalized here and let's take the transpose of x okay now let's get a desired output d for desired output we have to design a fire filter here Always you can design any filters but for time being we are just designing here FIR filter and uh, the order of the filter will be of course 12 which we have already designed there and let's take the normalized cutoff frequency 0 0.3 and make it load pass FIR filter and let's get a desired output D filter B1 and the input is x see here this d is equivalent to this desired output and the filter coefficient b is a filter coefficient of this unknown system and now we will try to get the filter coefficient of unknown system using this adaptive filtering configuration now let's take the mu and uh, mu is a step size and 0 0.8 and 0 0.9 is a reasonable value and a good compromise between being large enough to converge well within the 1000 samples or 250 samples and small enough to create an accurate estimate of the unknown filter it means if mu is very large it will converge very fast but error may go very large but if mu is small, it may take some time to converge, but the error will be very small. So let's take a mu equal to 0 0.8, very reasonable. And let's create a LMS list mean square object LMS using a DSP tool, DSP LMS filter. And number of type here will be order plus one okay because we have designed the order n uh, with the 12th order of the filter so the number of taps will be the order plus one and the step size property we can define it is mu and the another property is weight output ports weights output port is true okay and y is output E is error signal and W is weight which we need to calculate so step let's evaluate this LMS filter step LMS X is input and D is desired output and let's plot W means this filter coefficient calculated by adaptive filter and unknown systems so the unknown system filter coefficient B let's transpose it and w and let's give the title what we can give title here of course it is system identification system identification by lms filter okay sorry oh sorry sorry it must be stem not a stem okay let's see here you know here the filter coefficient which I have generated means which I have simulated using um, this adaptive filters is almost matching you may not be able to see here but if we zoom it means very large let's zoom it zoom it zoom it here you can see means there are very very small difference means our this LMS filter have simulated this unknown system means almost equivalent okay so now let's uh, uh, if we plot this filter coefficient means uh, uh, unknown filter coefficient into the filter visualization tool B
see here in the filter visualization tool filter coefficient you just you just remember it okay then i i'll try to um, then i'll try to plot the filter uh, this uh, filter visualization of a uh, adaptive filter coefficients okay so here you know at almost 0.3 there is minus 3 db decay and uh, now let's plot the filter coefficient uh, filter visualization of adaptive filter coefficient fb tool w c means this means see here it means this adaptive filter has model this unknown system almost almost equivalently so thanks for watching this video tutorial and in the next tutorial we will take some more examples and for latest update you can subscribe this channel it is absolutely free and if you have any problem just comment below thanks for watching